Hello everyone, I'm Great Luke. thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 168 of Factorio with the Seabrock mod. Where we are just, well, hopefully improving our uh, bronze and brass production and the inputs for it, because this was quite messy and we just moved everything back one tile, and hopefully that is enough. Also, I just realized that if we had used underground pipe, for all of this, we could have placed them right up against each other, but it doesn't really matter. We are inside the footprint that we want to be inside, so this is fine. Uh, let's queue up some more research and see if we can't finish this stuff. I guess the robots are coming with some of it. Now they should come with all of it. And let's just try to design some new inputs here. Because this is ugly. So all of these three different types of resources needs to go in here. Why do we not have tin though? What is up here? Again, it is the catalyst. We found that issue in the last episode, but we have not fixed it yet. Let's just fix this first of all. So yeah, two of these resources need to be mixed into one build. And preferably on the outside if we have extra inserters there. So can we do it like this? Oh wait, this... No, that is right, if we want to do it like that. We just can't have all of this belt filled up. And then we just really need one resource in here. That should be easy enough, I think. This might still not be the prettiest in the world, but at least it's simple. And simplicity is pretty. I'm not sure how these are supposed to be balanced at this point. I think we need a full red belt for these two setups, so we should probably have used the other one. But what if we just upgrade this to red belt, then this will just have the extra 15 that we are making per second. And we can use that for whatever. Except that we still have two belts here. Again, we'll do this. And that should be the last of the tin, I think. As we used a lot of it for the solder. And then again we just need the cover in here and we need the outputs to actually get out and that's pretty easy. This could have worked if we had everything one tile closer so I'm not sure what I did before. It's still not the prettiest in the world but at least it's pretty consistent with these merging things. Also we wanted more inserters but we will figure that out in a little bit. 
Still need this in. So like that. I think that's all of the inputs done. And then it's just the outputs. Good. Let's... well this is already connected. We need to... Just add a little bit more input here. Whoops, other way around. And we need power. And this should be copy pasteable to there. Good. So where does brass go? That should be coming from further down, I think. But we might be out. Or something. Have we removed it? Maybe we did remove it here. No, it goes here. Yeah, okay, so we have remo removed it. So something like that. And that's all of this done. This was catalysts that we need to fix at some point, but let's fix our uh, what are they called? The resource catalysts, the non-mineral Catalysts. What are they called, actually? It is just mineral catalyst. Then what are the other ones? These are metal catalysts, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Metal and mineral. Okay. I'm confused, but never mind me. What is this supposed to be? That is the, the stuff. Ferric chloride that we haven't removed the pipe for. Why is this? Oh, that's the same thing. It's the mineral catalysts, I would wager. Yeah, we aren't getting any iron here. Because we don't make enough iron ore. Okay, we need to fix this then. We almost have a full build here. Why isn't it entirely full though? Because of the output. And yeah, we will still need more than that for outputting. This should be fine. And of course this is in the way up here. Hmm. So we will just do that, I guess. Let's just move that out as well then, just for a little bit of consistency. Then the belt should be full. Or as close to it as I want to really get. And then the problem comes that we need more than a full belt here. A red would probably do it. But we could also use some of our extra space for more mineral catalyst production. This is all for steel, right? Yes, no, this is supposed to be removed. And this should all be removed then. 
Yes, then we can have more mineral catalyst production right there. We could just start with a red belt though. Are we actually using all of our slag for this? Not really. So we could produce more if we just consumed more. Low power? Well, we have that problem again. And yeah, this is a site for... Well, that is a sad site. But I think that's just because of the low power, because then we are not producing enough to fuel all of the boilers from these lines. Because we did calculate that we should have enough fuel for each of those setups. Let's just move these here. And now it can't be there anymore, so let's move it in there. It is only really the last machine that needs this extra inserter. Since well, all of these other machines have priority over that one, so this will be backing up the most. And we just need the extra inserter to fill any holes like these. And we should have robots coming with these machines, so that should be fine. We should also have enough of these, I think, to make enough sludge here. Maybe, maybe not. We are actually low on sludge. So probably not. Are the robots moving? Yes, we have five moving. Yeah, good. So apparently these are prioritized over these machines since these are always full and backed up. That seems a little weird, but oh well. It looks like we really just need more setups producing this and maybe a modernized version because this is all tier one electrolyzers <clears throat> i guess the tier twos just get shorter though but yeah so we removed this iron or we are working on it at least we would want these two columns gone then. Well, let's do that from the map. Hopefully we have some robot coverage here, but it doesn't look like it actually. So let's help that a little bit. Do we have some RoboPorts? No. I don't see it at least. And we're full of junk, dang it. Where is the junk warehouse? Didn't we have a junk warehouse around here somewhere? This is not it. Oh, here. It's just way further up than I thought. Do we have robobots in here somewhere? It's hard to see.
we can just ask the robots to put them down then. That should help. I guess I will just help along as well. Just way too fast, but we run out of space here. Stop it, robots. You're really not helping right now. Oh, nanobots. We did just put everything old in here, right? Then we'll sort it later. I think that's the thought. Though some things like this should go back into the network. I don't really need much of this. Maybe just some of those. This is junk. Actually, let's stop running around with those uh, gear wheels as well. We have been running with those for 50 episodes or something like that, and we just never use them. I really don't handcraft a lot. So out they go. Mm, sure, we just keep it going with the blue science. And our nanobots just threw this all on the ground. That's so nice. Are we really out of these? Ah, oh, this robot's just, just slow. Probably the last one. Let's go grab some more robots so I can place them myself, I guess. We're still low on the power, yes, very much so. So we will probably slowly have a brown out here where we just start producing smaller and smaller amount of fuel until we run out entirely. And I guess that's okay, that's life. Whoops, it's out here we need to go. Oh, I actually need to place them since my nanobots are disabled. Well, maybe we should re-enable those, but... I would prefer not getting all of this junk.
more connections needed. Always good. And we're still not producing enough here. Well, now it's probably the power problem, so maybe we should go do that or work on that while waiting for this. Yeah, let's do it. How much stuff do we need up here? We probably have most of what we need. Just need more landfill and to kill some worms. So I guess we need ammo most of all. And turrets. No, we have those. Landfill. Uh. Oh, down here. Let's just take a lot. So that should be all of the space we need, then we just need to kill the worms. Let's start with these. They are just a little bit easier to get to. Hopefully we can kill them without the others interfering too much. Good. Oh dear. And I didn't get any of the ammo in, I don't think. So those turrets are dead. Dang it. Let's keep the research going. Wait, what's that? I don't think I've ever seen that before. But I guess it's just for the purified stuff. Just feel like this is a new model for that. I'm not sure. So slow. Let's see if we can grab our stuff without dying again here. Okay, easy enough. Okay, a lot better.
I guess we might as well just run more land down. And we might as well just kill some more worms as well. I don't think we need to kill everything else, but let's just take these guys. Do we have any damaged stuff? No. Oops. Okay, and we should just be able to this down right mm. I seem to have updated a few things maybe no it's just only on the top that we have this pipe cut off mm. doesn't really matter too much so I guess we just leave it we did some things with more water over here, but I think that's already part of this. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So the robots will get on that. We need to disable or just cut the power off i guess for a bit here if we cut this nothing changes right no what if we cut this then yes at least the bus is then disconnected and this just not this oh and these are just part of the main bus network i guess somehow yeah through here okay and it's really annoying to have to disconnect this Mm. But maybe that can catch itself when the bus and science stuff is disconnected. But maybe not. Well, we can help a bit, I guess. Because we should have a lot of fuel in here. Or maybe not that much. Oh, that went into the fuel part of it. Oh, well. I think that will be okay. Then the power should pick up a little bit for a while at least, and then we should be producing enough fuel for the resource production stuff, I think. Could also just take a little bit from here and feed in. That'll help a little bit at least.
Yeah, so this is our brownout happening here, I guess. This is us putting fuel in manually. But we can't even see when we disconnect the main bus, I don't think. We should have a drop in consumption at some point. But we didn't. Well, I guess all of the other machines just stepped in and took all of that power, of course. But at least some of that power then should also go to the fuel production. So this... Got a little bump at least, but that's from putting fuel in manually. Can we have a look at these? Well, maybe it'll work, maybe not. I guess I'll just take some of this. That isn't really supposed to go in here. Oh, that's actually not where that goes. Give that back, please. We need it through a, a furnace first, and again, not in there. And that probably went into the fuel. No, it didn't this time. Okay. Are the robots working? Well. Obviously, they have split tasks, and a lot of them are just stuck down here. All 4,500 of them, at least, actually, so... Mm. And we can't really charge them faster, because even if we put down more charging pads, we are low on power, so... That's probably not the best idea. Maybe me just helping here is better. We're using so many assembling machines for this. I think we don't actually need T or uh, whatever this is, just here too. Well, who knows? Maybe we do. That's all we could help with for now, unless we just go grab more stuff, of course. And maybe we should just do that. I'm not sure if this is going up or down. Wait, these are on the... No, they are on the same network. Why do we have these on the same net wait everything is connected maybe maybe not
that's not a connection. It's a little weird that we have... No, we don't. Wait, what? Didn't I just see solar panels in here? Oh, I did in the last 10 hours. So this actually shows us what was in this network. Okay, never mind me. Just for a little bit, let's cut off the resource production down here. As then we should have more than enough power for full fuel production. Of course, that would probably annoy our robots a lot. Maybe that's not the best idea. Let's just work on more fuel production and then more steam engines. That's really the only way out of this. Let's see how far we get with this. Hopefully we have enough nanobots. We do. Good. Are we already out of LJ farms? Hmm. Did we not have any more of those? I guess not. But we really need them, so let's go grab more. Oh, we've disconnected this. How many do we need for this? 100, and we just took 100, so that's fine. Let's start from this end then. And I didn't grab more power poles. Great. Oh, but we have actually the power poles placed here, so that's okay ish. Why do we not have belts back here? Because we don't have it here or here. That's stupid. And they won't reach. Oh, because they are supposed to be like that.
I really want to take out some more of these worms so we can just ask the robots to work on this while we do other stuff and the next time we need more fuel it should be a lot easier to get up here and fix it. But yeah, that's easy to say now. Did we get all of the underground over here down? Except for the underground pipe, yes. Why is this not connected? Because all of this is not... No, it is connected. Where's the disconnect then? These are connected. This is connected. Oh. We need that. Oh, I want that connected. So it can start working as soon as possible. So let's do this. Good. Then they are working, at least until that point. We don't have enough underground to finish it. And this is not finished either, so it doesn't really help. Oh well, we'll just run back and forth again. And we need this as well. Did we get robot coverage in here? Yes, we did. That is good news. And we started doing more space back here. A landfill. Yes, then we can have the robot zone thingy. And this needs to come from below. Well, let's go as close as possible here. Maybe we should start upgrading these as well. Just because I don't run around with normal furnaces. We needed more underground pipe. And... We don't have any boilers, really. Oh yeah, no power. That makes sense. Are we doing any better? Still no. More furnaces needed. Great. Should have just brought those. Well, maybe we have them in the chest, actually. Mm. That's a no. Let's get the underground pipe down, and then we can go grab more 
furnaces, I guess. Oh, we need groundwater boss. Dang it. So many things that I don't have at the moment. Well, let's do this a little slower, so we're sure that everything gets put down. So, groundwater boss and furnaces and power poles and flare stacks. Furnaces and power poles. We're really not putting these into a chest. Well, we have some more at the other production line, I guess. As well as power poles. And more of something. Maybe it was flare stacks. Groundwater boss. Uh, these. Good. And these. And those. Sure. Let's run all the way to the left since we need to go right at the end anyway. Oh, run all the way to the right, sorry. Since we need to go to the power stuff. Lastly. Okay, please have everything. I forgot about power poles, but it's just two machines. And I think we have those available to the robots. Yes, because they have the whole network. And no... What? Didn't... That doesn't power anything for some reason. Okay. And we have water, then we have more mineralized water. Good. Of course, we need to seed the carbon dioxide production. Is that done with carbon or just charcoal? It's just charcoal. Give me that. This should be fine, right? Oh yeah, these are starting to work. They will hopefully get enough to output some wood bricks.
We could also just take more here instead of doing this the slow way. It is for the greater good, so... We should have a couple of them, at least, working now. And they are good. The power is getting critical, though. But they will soon output stuff from here. Really? I still forgot the offshore pumps, but oh well. Now we have most of it down at least. How are we doing on robots? Some of them are actually done with their work. The rest are just waiting for more power and more charging, of course. Uh, groundwater balls. No, offshore pumps. So as soon as we fill these up, we get more stuff out. We're still short on the carbon dioxide though. But that's just because they're not all working and they're low on power still. If these would just get done, then we could disconnect them. We could also just disconnect them again for a short duration. Just to get this going. We could also just manually buff everything again with fuel from the smelting lines. It's a little annoying that most of that goes into fueling them, because that won't really be needed for quite a while. That's some of it running full speed again. That bumps it quite a lot. I'll just take a bit more to actually put into the new setup. And of course that all went into fuel. If I do this, it doesn't go in there. Okay, good. Oh well. 
We are doing this now. And we're getting some out now, that's good news. Of course, that's just fueling these first. Let's just grab some of this again. Also, I think we have chests full of this stuff. Also, we can use carbon as well. We have 6,000 wood bricks in here somewhere. Actually, I just want to get rid of all of the actual junk that we don't need right now. I just saw some carbon, let's just take that as well. It'll, it's less stuff to uh, move around later. I think this should help a lot. But I'm thinking a lot of weird stuff. Also, this should be able to fuel another setup like this, so we really just need more space. And that's the landfill, dang it. Yeah. Can I just squeeze through there, please? Thank you. Oh. We... I guess we're going for more landfill anyway. What are we going to use this for? I guess just for these. Two thousand robots back in the well, back in storage again. That's good. Then they are not taking up power, and they can help build more power production. Hmm. 
what am I looking for? I'm just looking for landfill. And I'm looking if this is actually done. Not really. But we're getting there at least. Oh, they have to empty out all of the stuff. Dang it. That's why we disconnect the water before we start tearing everything down. And on that note, should we disconnect anything else? Maybe not right now. So we got the landfill. I'll just bring whatever we need to place out the furthest away. Uh, anything else? Liquifiers, we have those. Power poles. Hopefully we have enough ammo to kill some stuff. We do, it seems. Behemoths out there, but I think they won't be able to hit us. Well, apparently they will hit some of this stuff. I shouldn't left click this stuff cause then we just have all of the stacks instead of taking half of the stacks. <coughs> It's actually not really this that we need. We have the fuel that we need already. But let's get this started anyway. Oh, and I should have brought a lot more underground pipe. Dang it. I'm too lazy to sit around and wait for this. Oh, I'm, I guess I'm impatient, not lazy, but yeah. We really need, need more power, but I think we're actually getting somewhere now. Maybe, maybe not. It's a little better. Oh well. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.